good afternoon one and all. And this is a VR2 Yanez pipe and tobacco. Smoking the Elwood by Leswood with some dark flake once again. Um, I bought the tin yesterday, had my first bowl last night, and I'm on my second bowl today. It's really good stuff. Check out my first impressions video. So, Yanis and I, um, we've been interacting for quite some time. Um, not like uh, on a daily basis, but um, I remember it was really with, um, I got to know him a little bit with uh, Hooked Pipers. I haven't seen much of them lately, but um, he, he would, uh, I think they were good friends, and uh, Yanis often commented on their videos, and I think that's where I first saw Yanis. Anyway, for some reason, I, I um, after seeing some other people doing VRs to Yanis, it occurred to me that I wasn't subscribed, and I couldn't understand why, but in any event, I've been over to his channel, subscribed, and I've started going through his uh, inventory, if you like. So, if you're not subscribed to him, I would certainly encourage you to do so. Very informative videos, very straight presentation, very pleasant presentation, um, and it's just um, a very informational, um, helpful channel. <clears throat> and lots of plenty of uh, pipes and tobaccos and uh, impressions and lots of information on there, definitely worthwhile a subscription. So he's doing a sub, uh, um, a, via, a contest at the moment. And he asks a couple of questions. Question number one was, what do you like about the YTPC? What do you think is special about the YTPC? And the second question was, a bit of an impossible one to be honest. What don't you like about, well not what don't you like, but what would you do to improve the YTPC? So, the first question, what do I like about the YTPC? Well, I should think that anybody who's part of the YTPC knows the answers to that. I'll mention a couple of the items that really stick out for me. First and foremost, the name suggests it, it's a community. The YouTube sm pipe smoking community. And it really is that. It really makes the world a small place. such a diverse group of people which must number in the thousands um, what I find interesting is when you see people doing contests and you look at the responses and the VRs virtually every single contest that is out there will um, cause lots of new people um, to come forward to do VRs. Now, obviously, yes, certainly the, the incentive is there to try and win the prize, of course. <clears throat> but what's interesting is that you see many people who you've never seen before, yet they have clearly been interacting with people that you know for a long time. Um, and it's a very good way to get to know the wider YTPC, is by looking at the comments on other people's videos, on people that you know. And then when you see somebody new, you go to his channel and see the people that are commenting on his videos and it just grows from there. And it's just like a snowball effect and it's never ending. There's literally thousands and thousands of people on the YTPC. Um, and that kind of leads me to, to, to my answer to the second question, but we'll come to that. Um, so what does community mean? Well. I think that the friendships that people make on the YTPC 
are um, a huge testament to, to the uh, community atmosphere and the camaraderie on the YTPC. People from all ends of the world communicating, interacting, exchanging ideas, exchanging opinions, exchanging gifts. Um, you know, people who, without being in the YTPC, would have no chance at all of, of getting to know any of those people. And you're brought together by a common interest, um, which um, is just... I'm not, I'm not even talking about the tobaccos in the pipes. That's the actual hobby itself. The question is, what do we like about the YTPC, about the community aspect of it? If I wanted to talk about pipes and, and tobaccos, you know, we could be here all night and tomorrow. But just the aspect of the YTPC itself, the friendships, the kindnesses, you know, in the last couple of years that I've been part of it, there have been unfortunately numerous tragedies around the world. And, you know, people have been through very, very challenging times. But we often see examples of the YTPC helping each other out. A few months ago, there was the floods, and there was um, YTPC members putting out VRs and putting out um, videos, um, getting help uh, to be able to help each other. Um, you see people who are in countries which are going through strife, appealing to um, people on the YTPC. Um, I'll be honest with you, I actually didn't plan to talk about this, but it's just come popped into my head now. That side of things for me, after a while, does get a little bit, um, it does irk me a little bit. When people are repeatedly putting out videos, appealing for money, that turns me off straight away. Um, and that kind of, for me, it is contrary to the YTPC. Any time you feel pressured into parting with something, it doesn't have to be money, but any time, it's the same reason why somebody um, would stick a message on one of my videos saying, oh, I'd love some of that, please can you send me some of that, or, you know, without having any relationship with you, it's the same kind of feeling. Um, and I find it... I get that people are struggling. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not sort of relating to any particular person here, but you know there, there are places where people are struggling. I get that, and people are desperate and they need any help they can get. But uh, it does bother me a little bit when people directly, you know, when people are building relationships on the YTPC around the hobby, and then they build up a little bit of a relationship, and then they use that relationship, that exposure, to make appeals for charity to me that's when I'm talking about direct appeals and repeated direct appeals I find that a little bit distasteful where you've got people on the YTPC trying to help each other out unsolicited in other words if I'm putting out a video to help somebody else out that is fantastic that is the YTPC but if I was to put videos out repeatedly saying please give me money that's not the YTPC in my opinion and I think that that's it gets a little bit much and that turns me off straight away and um, I, I just uh, ignore it um, but coming back to what's good about the YTPC the kindnesses that we see that people do to each other when people are in challenging times fantastic that is exactly what the YTPC is all about um, obviously um, the knowledge that people gain by being part of the YTPC so a lot of the VRs a lot of the contests will asking questions about the hobby and people will give a huge array of answers lots of information coming in um, uh, Lonnie's um, recent contest where he was asking about uh, tell me something about tobacco you know people came in with lots of bits of information which yes you could all go on Google and search it all up but at the end of the day people have gone to the trouble to find that information and you've got a, a portal where you can go to watch it and learn that information that's a fantastic thing people giving um, impressions reviews um, and just videos showing the product showing a nice pipe all of that is really nice and you know it, it's it's a source of information and that's also another aspect of the YTPC which I find very positive another aspect for me is is escapism you know we all have our day-to-day -day life where um, you know we've got our workday schedules,
we all have our responsibilities we all have our day-to-day -day life uh, lives that go on on a day-to-day -day basis and we're busy and uh, we have our own stresses and pressures and responsibilities and it's just nice to be able to come away and just get involved and spend some time in the hobby of pipe smoking and sharing that with other people and I think that it's it's um, it's a de-stressor besides for smoking a pipe itself being a de-stressor being part of the YTBC um, and often sometimes being able to just share you know your experiences with other people that um, is also a big de-stressor and I think that over a period of time um, if you look back after say you've been on the YTBC for a number of years you could look back and say you know what I've been through some really challenging times or some really interesting times or some momentous times and I think that the YTBC has been a big crutch for me and you know that we've leaned on and, and it's helped to get through difficult times and I think there's a lot of truth in that and I think that's for me is a very big plus of the YTBC. I'm sure people have got lots of other things, positive aspects but those are just some that have come to mind. Now about the second question, um, the second question is what would you do to improve it? Well, um, it, it's a tough one because any time you, you sort of come up with a criticism or, or something that you want to prove, it's by definition you're criticizing the, the YTPC and I don't think the YTPC um, warrants any criticism. Well, I, somebody did, um, one of the VRs did say that uh, it would be nice if more YTPCers took part on uh, IG. Uh, I, I can hear that. Um, what I thought would be a good idea was to find some way of having an umbrella group, if you like. Some way of unifying people, not just in the being involved in the YTPC on YouTube, but some physical um, way of unifying all the people to say yes I'm a member of the YTPC and um, you, you see all the, the, the there have been various um, attempts at that not necessarily by being called the YTPC but for instance the Pipes and Beards Clubs and, and um, the, the various um, other organizations who have put their made some badges and made some uh, uh, some kind of membership situation the only difficulty that I could see with that is that because by definition, YTPC is, has the words YouTube in it. I think there would be some infractions when it comes to copyright and uh, trademarking and that kind of thing. Um, it, I'm just amusing over it. I, I don't really think that there is an answer to that because in some ways, it will t if, if one did have some kind of membership situ um, uh, situation, it would almost detract from the YTPC. It might actually take away from the genuine sort of people's actual um, natural contribution to the YTPC rather than just saying hey here's my membership uh, sticker I'm a member um, and rather people should have their unique way of being a member in the YTPC so I'm kind of um, contradicting myself but it's just you know amusing which comes to mind as I'm speaking the upshot of it is is that I can't think of anything that needs actually sort of sorting out on the YTPC. The YTPC is what it is and it evolves because its um, membership comprises of human society it therefore by definition is wonderful and varied and so it should be. Yanis, um, I'm looking forward to uh, working my way through your channel um, thank you for doing a lovely uh, contest. The pipe looks lovely. The tobacco looks lovely. So anyway, I wish you luck with it. I wish you luck with loads of more subs. And I'll catch you on the next one.